I offer these every week, along with a short teaching. Just click the subscribe link below to be notified through YouTube when I post the recording of the latest one. Or if you'd like to join me live, which I'd really welcome, go down into the description section below and follow the link along to be able to sign up for free. Hmm. Find a posture that is comfortable and also helps you to stay alert. You know, take a minute or even more to settle in. Maybe loosen your belt. Maybe rest your feet on the floor in a position that's comfortable for you. Find a posture of repose. In Zen, there's a saying, um, soft in the front, firm in the back. There might be certain words or phrases that bring you into how you want to be right now, including physically. Some words I like myself are upright. Something about imagining that there's a little invisible string rising from the center of the head up to infinity. Perhaps imagining that there's a kind of line moving from that thread through your body, down through your body, down to the center of the earth, so that as you sit, you are aligned with gravity. Perhaps tucking your chin in very slightly. Letting your, your hands come to rest in a, in a comfortable way. Perhaps resting one palm in another. You might experiment even with which feels more comfortable to have on top, left or right. If you like, alternately, you might make a, it's called a mudra, you know, perhaps naturally your thumb and forefinger come to touch each other, or have perhaps thumb and other fingers, or maybe all your fingers touching each other at the same time. I'm not making it complicated, just helping yourself come and land. Mobilizing factors in your own posture that support your practice. As, a, as an embodied example of the general principle of mobilizing factors in your life that support you even as simple as, as how you sit when you meditate. You 
you can be aware of what it feels like to be helpful toward yourself. To be encouraging, kind, guiding. This attitude of helpfulness toward ourselves is a very important quality to develop as a trait. And we develop it by experiencing it and internalizing then those experiences. You might be aware of the fact that breathing is ongoing naturally, that awareness continues naturally. Consciousness unfolds naturally without needing to be controlled. Another phrase that helps to draw me into um, meditation is carefree dignity, a sense of dignity that's not stiff, dignity, self-respect, in your own right. and a dignity that is carefree, at least for this time. Letting go of the everyday cares of worrying, problem solving, pressuring, stressing. Free of care. Understandably, thoughts or feelings, worry for others, worry for yourself may, may arise in the edges of awareness. And we can acknowledge those challenges while in a deep place inside being undisturbed by them. <clears throat> you can also find a lightheartedness, carefree dignity, a playfulness even as we meditate.
As we meditate, you can be aware of breathing or sensations elsewhere in the body or aware of a word or image or feeling. Staying in touch with some anchor for awareness to help you stay centered. And so that you can learn more about your mind's habits of distraction and wondering in contrast to that stable anchor of attention. If you're using the breath, you might like to follow the internal sensations of breathing, coming in through the nose, filling the chest, chest rising and falling, air leaving out through the nose or mouth, repeating again and again.
if you need to, reestablishing that posture of uprightness. We might call it carefree dignity. And allow awareness to include the whole body. Getting a sense of yourself as a whole, present in meditation. Stable, steady, open.
awareness opening outward, sense of spaciousness, yourself as a whole, <clears throat> mind also getting quieter, letting the, the sediments settle. Staying present with a growing sense of the heart, the heart opening. <clears throat> 